So, hello everybody. This is a video and a uh, big shout out to Jay Nortellin who made a comment on one of my other videos. Because we do need more dating videos on this channel. And something we're about to share is how to guilt trip a woman into dating you. For this video today, I'll be teaching you how to guilt trip a woman. Yeah, I did say how to guilt trip a woman into dating you. So let's cut to the chase and get further into how you do it. Have you had a situation where a woman you're interested in didn't reply to meeting up with you for a drink, coffee or whatever? Have you waited for any more than three days for a girl to text back? Well, that's a yes. It means she might not be interested really busy or she's an absolute fucking bitch or it could mean all three here is the next question what are you gonna do about it all right i'll tell you what i did back in the day and i said becca it was nice meeting you on the bus now here comes the next bit you add on and say something negative at the end. Hey Becca, it was nice meeting you on the bus. I had a nice time talking with you when I didn't hear from you about meeting up. All you did was make me feel like you're not interested in me. So that was that was something I used. I mean, I can't remember the exact text. But that probably was the exact text, which is something you could use. So other examples. I'm going to come up with just a couple off the top of my head. So let's try and make this video quite quick and informative. Okay. Hey, Roxanne, it was good meeting you. But when you didn't text back, I, I felt like you just didn't want to meet up. Or you could say, Hey, Leanne, I had a nice time talking with you in the park. But when you didn't text back about meeting up, it felt like I was talking with a different person. And then there's another option you could do after maybe some of these guilt trip texts. Put a sad face. Which is basically what I did. Or you could take a picture of yourself putting a sad face. Anything. Anything. So do you see what I'm doing with the negative and the positive here? Right, you don't want to go full on negative because otherwise the woman is just going to be completely off you. She's going to be like, nah, I don't like this guy. Fuck him, he's a loser. Remember, you want to do some damage here. Get the woman to feel so insecure about her actions, she will reply either way. And after you sent the text, she doesn't reply. It's better to move on knowing that she will feel guilty about the act she just did. When she replies, chances are she may have been interested all along and may want to go on a date with you. Well, let's say you had to use this kind of text for a second date. So I'm going to go deeper in the next video about how to send a guilt trip text after you failed to get a second date with her. And you know what? When I did get that first date, well, I got a kiss. I mean, it did turn out she was just very busy with studies and stuff. 
Um, so, if she never replies, then maybe at your standards, you might think, what an absolute fucking bitch. Or, well, plenty more out there mindset. Or, you know, for a thick skinned guy that knows about women, they've purchased the dating course and stuff. Alright, not everyone is going to be emotionally secure, not even women, not even men. I mean, the reason I'm making this video is for you guys who don't know fuck all about women and maybe when the woman you're interested in doesn't text back about meeting up, you're probably the sort of guy, you let this get to you. I did that. That's why I'm making this video. And uh, in the hope you will get some value from it. This does work on average women, but use carefully. So, if you had any value from this video today, put it in the comments. Maybe show what text you use, and then show the reply. <laughs> and um, blur the name out, so uh, she doesn't get too embarrassed, huh? Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for another video on... How to guilt trip when you fail to get the second date.